installing the instrument panel and the nose cone side panels that the nose cone will finally attach to. At this point I've mounted the panel and the brackets to the airframe. As I said before that this panel will be replaced with an all aluminum type panel but that panel will fit in the same place as this one does. As you can see my brackets are mounted right to the side of the down tube of the aircraft. That's one of your main down tube longerons. And then the back side I have Clicoed four holes that I drilled to eventually put rivets in there. I have decided that on the back side of this panel where I have drilled these holes, I'm going to put nut plates in there. The bottom of the panel will be hinged to another small U channel that will go across the bottom of the panel. My circuit breakers will be mounted in that U channel piece and that piano hinge will be attached to the instrument panel so that the instrument panel will be able to fold forward and down for maintenance and repair. Now I also plan to put some rubber pieces behind this bracket where the nut plates are going to attach so there will be a piece of rubber in there which will be used to insulate the panel from the vibrations of the airframe during flight. Here I've installed the nose cone attach plate. Notice that the forward edge of it is right up against these gussets right here on the Longeron tube. I also put it in in such a manner so that the edge is flush along here I then marked my edge marking which is about a quarter inch and evenly spaced out my holes one two three four and five holes and the same way has been done on the bottom of the aircraft we'll go down low here see how that follows along the very side of the fuselage now <clears throat> in the manual you'll see detailed photographs of how I went and marked the panel actually comes down straight okay and you'll have to take your magic marker and mark a line along the bottom edge as to where to bend that panel ultimately it gets bent over let's see if I can get down here and then gets riveted to the bottom of the seat pan area so you can see where I had made a marked a line on the inside. You'll see the details on that in the builder's manual and the, the photographs. And then again I made my edge distance about a quarter inch and evenly spaced out five holes for rivets to rivet this nose cone attach plate onto the airframe. One other thing I want to... Oh boy, I tell you crawling around is a little hard when you get to my age. Another thing I want to bring out is when I mounted my panel, I made certain that, if I can zoom in on this, I made certain that my panel was level. Whoops. I put a level on the bottom of it so that I know that it's level in relationship to the roll axis of the airplane. And then I also made certain that it was level in relationship to the pitch axis of the airplane. So my panel will be relatively level in relationship to the pitch axis of the airplane. The reason for that is if you plan to put a gyro instrument into your panel, you will want this panel to be level in relationship to the bottom of the pilot's seat pan which is the straight and level designation for the Excalibur aircraft. So now that I have the uh, panel in there, I will take it back out and use it as a pattern to make a new panel, which will be slightly larger and will be hinged at the bottom along here 
so that it can fold forward for maintenance rather than climb up underneath there if you ever have to get back there and work on it.